So now with my pen tool, what I'm gonna do is just start inside of the hairline. It doesn't matter how far back it is, this will be covered up by the hair later on. But once I get to the skin area that's exposed to the background, I'm gonna start following a bit closer, okay? So try to create smooth lines. And the way you achieve that is making your anchor points, place them as far apart as you can. Okay? Remember to click and drag to create a bezier curve. Click and release just creates corner points and therefore you'll get a more rigid line. So try not to get those rigid lines. If we do have combination points, if you're trying to change direction, we'll come back with the smooth tool and smooth out those anchor points so that we can get a nice smooth illustration. Okay. So I'm just gonna start inside the hairline. And again, you can zoom in for this just so that you don't have to strain your eyes or you can be a bit more accurate when you're doing your trace. And once I get inside of the neckline, I'll also just draw inside of the shirt because later on that shirt will be stacked right on top of this shape. Remember, if you want to change directions, just click back on the previous anchor point you created to create a combination point. Click and drag to make smooth lines. Once you close that shape, we'll expand the skin tone layer. And we're going to name that path mid-tone. Okay. So what we're going to do is get in the habit of doing this. We're going to draw out our path, name it, smooth out all the anchor points, and then move on to the next shape. Okay. So as you finish each shape, label it, smooth it out with the smooth tool, and then proceed to the next shape. So now if I want to smooth this out, I'm going to grab my smooth tool. And this is where you can start to use your Wacom tablet and your pen. So with your Wacom pen, just come over top of any of the anchor points that you feel have sharp edges or their corner points, and then just click and release. Okay, so you're just doing a subtle sort of like drag just to smooth out that shape. Okay. And you can hold down your space bar, pan around the document. If you see any other corner points or combination points that you want to sort of get rid of so that they're nice and smooth, just go over them with the smooth tool. So once I finish that, I'll bring my photo layer back up. And then now we'll proceed to now draw all of our highlight shapes. Okay.